Hey guys, welcome to our first video regarding user permission and in this video we will take a look at user permissions but first we should understand how to add user in Linux. So to add a user in Linux we use the command user add followed by the username and in this case we are going to create a user called Mars. Press enter. Now to give user a pass, uh, password we use the command passwd and followed by the username. I'm going to give a very simple password Mars121. Uh, to this user okay after all the authentication token has have been updated we can just go to this file etc passwd is the file where user are created and grep user mars will reveal that this user is has been created and the home directory is slash home slash mars okay also there's a file called etc shadow and this is the file where users encrypted passwords are stored okay so here we can see that the encrypted password of user mars is available okay let me clear the screen now uh, once the user is added then now we can proceed with some uh, other like permissions such as read write execute and special permissions such as suid sticky bit and so on Okay, so read permission is denoted by R. Let me show you in a slide. I have created a special slide for you guys. So here, uh, you can see that, uh, just don't uh, like, I'll come back to this line later. So read permission is denoted by R, uh, write by W and X by, like execute by X, okay? So let's go here, okay. Okay, so let's do a demo and then I will explain to you what these nine bits are for. Okay, so let me switch as a user Mars. To switch as a user Mars, we use su command. And now I'm going to my home directory. Okay, at the moment you can see there is nothing in this home directory. I'm going to create a file mars.txt. Now ls-ltr will reveal that uh, a file is available. So let's check Okay, ls-ltr of Mars revealed that it has uh, some set of permissions on this file, okay? So the dash, first dash denotes a file. You can see here in the slide. The first dash denotes a file. Now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bits in the set of permission, okay? So this is the, and these are nine bits in a set of permission and these this nine bits are available in a set of three for example read write dash first set read write dash second uh, set read dash dash third set so read da, read write dash means that the first set belongs to the owner or the creator of this file and in this case we know that the user mars is the creator of this file so this first Mars is the user or the creator. The second Mars is the group to which this file belongs. Okay. So second permission here, read, write, dash means for the member of the group. So we can see that the group is Mars. Any member of this group also have read, write permission. And in case of file, read, write means full permission. Okay, in case of directory, read, write, execute means full permission. So over here you can see the bit is not set, but this means that the group member also have full permission and the owner of the file have full permission. Now, the last three uh, bits are for others. Like uh, these are neither the group members nor the creator or owner of the file. In our second video, we will take a look at uh, some more permissions such as sticky bit and uh, suid so we'll see you then